Hey, good evening guys, I'm just going to jump straight into this video. Today, I received a Wazoo cash belt. About 30 quid posted. Before this, I was just carrying your typical EDC pouch, a uh, little Maxpedition Mini, with all these bits and bobs in. The, f the problem I found with the Maxpedition Mini is, I wasn't carrying it about. I had it in my little grab bag, in the boot of my car, but it wasn't always there when I mainly needed it, if you're with me. So, I got this belt, uh, I fitted it out with my usual bits and bobs, which I'll show you, but it's amazing how comfy it is. Now, I do wear a handmade leather belt, which is heavy and chunky. This thing, you just don't even know you've got it on. So, let's just jump into it. That's your belt buckle. Nice, solid back belt buckle with a bottle opener. And then you've got two little tabs there. You could fit money behind there. But it's actually built for one of Wazoo's, um, I think it's a Sol, uh, S-O-L, Sierra Oscar Lima uh, signaling mirror, which, though I'm in the UK, I don't really need it. I mean, maybe if I was doing a mountain expedition or something, I'd maybe think twice and, you know, just order one for the sake of it. I'll probably get one anyway. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Um... It is branded there, made in America. It's a Wazoo cash belt, made in the USA, patent pending. But what you have all the way along the belt is Velcro. I'll just show you. We'll dive straight in. It's super, super strong Velcro. And basically covered the uh, 10 C's there. So number one, cash. That's carrier tenor, you know, if it if it goes, um, replace it, whatever, and the next note you get, as you know, cash is sort of dying, but cash still is king, you know, it might get me a phone call, might get me a lift into town, might get me some food, you know, you never know, you never know when you need a bit of cash, a bit of petrol or something like that, your card's not working, for instance. Then we've got a ranger band, we've got two zip ties, Got some Kevlar cordage. I think it's about £100 breaking strain. It's only about 2 mil. And I've got some fishing line. And we've got just one of my own made Ranger bands. You can burn that, use it to strap stuff together. Um, another use for it is my water bag. Just, you know, tying the water bag shut. And we'll keep that in mind. Are they in shot? Let's bring them down a bit. Sorry. Not really planned this. It's a little bit raw. So there I've got. A sandwich bag, which I use as a water bag, nice and thin, but then inside there is a coffee filter, so you can pre-filter your water. Now, I have run out of um, sterilising tablets, but I've got some on the way from Amazon, you know, they're absolute pennies, so I'll just pop one or two in there. Each one will do a litre of water, so pre-filter your water with the coffee thing. Sorry, there's two bags there, one to collect the mucky water. Put your coffee filter over your other bag, filter the water into it, put a purification tablet in, tablet in, job's a good one. And we've got, oh, I've been making these little uh, sealed straws. We've got um, a sewing kit there, some thick um, waxed cotton and a sewing needle, but that's waterproof, you see there. Literally, you get some air drinking straws, put what you need to go in it, cut it off, hold it with a pair of pliers, burn it, and then put your pliers over the hot plastic to seal them off. Next up, got some scissors banded with a little um, elastic band. It's actually a loom band or a hair bobble. I just nicked it off the kids. But that's out of the... Uh, the Victorian Ox, Victorian Ox um, card, which has tools and such in it. I have pet repurposed quite a lot of them bits, but it's nice, low profile, fits perfect. Next up, another sealed straw. I've got two paracetamol. I did try ibuprofen, but there was a little bit too big for my straws, but as long as you've got something. Then I've got a replaceable one where the end just comes off 
and I've got a pair of tweezers in there to get rid of a, a splinter or a tick or something like that. I'll just show you them. So I've got some really small tweezers and a toothpick. I mean, the toothpick's not tragic, but I do eat a lot of steak over the campfire, and you always get them bits in your teeth, don't you? But tweezers are more valuable, but for the sake of the size, I might as well just bang them in there as well. They're also from the Victoria Knox tool card. Just pop them away. I was going to seal them off, but I think you'd use them more than you think. Next up, we've got, well, this is an interesting one, same sealed little unit again. I've got a metal saw, three fishing hooks, and two small woes. Now, they are painted black, which I've left them black for clear water. That's the lows and the hooks. But then if it is murky water, you take your multi-tool or your knife or your scissors and just scratch the black off and you, or scratch silver lines into it. You'll get me if you're a fisherman, you know, just making a different low pattern. Um, I suppose if you're in a survival situation, you've got all the time in the world, really. Well, not to catch food and eat like, but you get what I'm gist. Then moving along, I've got the smallest Oppenel to do. Now, it is a number four carbon steel with two of those little loom band type things just holding it shut but that's just razor sharp great for gutting a fish um i could even get away carving tent pegs or what have you with that just a great little knife i will periodically check that with it being carbon steel or if my belt gets wet or such maybe swap that out for a stainless if they do one moving along to the first stage we've got the first aid we've got a gauze bandage Typical stuff, but to be fair, that tiny little unit there, 1.8 meters long, I mean, and five centimeters wide, you could repurpose that in the wild, couldn't you, if you needed to? Moving along, got a fire steel and a striker, and I've just held that together with a little rubber band. Bearing in mind your rubber band's burnable, even the ranger bands and such, they're all burnable, but that throws off really good spark. That's from a necklace or you can get them off a survival bracelet. Plenty on Amazon and stuff, but it's tried and tested, as you can see there. Really good sparks. Bear with me. Sorry about that. My uh, little dog was scratching to come in. So, yeah, um, basically just a little uh, striker. Rough as well. You could maybe even, you know, do a bit of sawing with that, you know, in the right place. And your little... Uh, Ferrocium rod, but that is tried and tested, you know, make sure you test your gear before you do need it in a, in a pinch sort of thing, as they say. What we've got next? Got a little, just a little triple, triple A, little mag light style thing. Now, man, what? Oh, yes, it does work. Um, I've cut a little piece of plastic just to put on the inside. You get what I mean. Basically, it blocks the battery terminal off. It doesn't turn on in your belt, and then when you need it, it's totally dead. That's my other little thing to do, but I remember I left it out just to show you it working. What's next? Got two, uh, two bits of tinder. Just a basic fire plug. You know, cotton and paraf uh, paraffin, petroleum jelly, uh, anything like that, what just slows down the burn. I've tested them, I think they burn for about two minutes, but super small. I mean, I do have big hands like, but it's about half the size of my small finger. Carry two of those. My thinking is at least you're going to get two nights fire, aren't you? If you keep a fire going all day sort of thing. Now, they are waterproof as well, obviously, because they've got um, some type of petroleum or something on them. But I do keep them in a little bag as well, just because... The bag could always be useful as well. What have we got next? Next up we've got 
got alcohol prep wipe, an array of plasters. Make sure they're good plasters as well, because I always find, you know, if you're looking, if you haven't been in a first aid kit for a long time and you've got, I don't know, cheap pound shop plasters, they can lose the stickiness. I mean, as you know yourself, um, a wound, you know, you'll break your leg or something and you've got a, a nasty, or a nasty cut. You know what I mean? They can go really bad and then when you need, just need that plaster just to hold off the bleeding a while. Uh, and there's no adhesive to it. Do you know, just, just spend that little extra. They're Masterplast ones then. They're the, they're the highest rated on um, on Amazon. So a ray of uh, plasters there could cover your blisters, corns, anything like that. I suppose you could even repair stuff with them. These are my favourite though. Other than doing stitches, these butterfly stitches and you get one, two, three, four, five, six in there and it weighs nothing, packs down to nothing. If you want to know what they are, they are skin closures, five sterile tips and they're quality care products. That's another Amazon jobby. Moving along. Ah, I'll just show you that there. See how you've got the loop? They have a loop at each end for connecting tools too. Now, I'll just disconnect that one. So that is just a true utility one. I think you usually see those if you're in the UK when you spend so much on fuel and stuff and they do little offers on tools. Uh, I know Go Outdoors do all the true utility stuff. Now, they're, they're not cheap cheap. I'd say they were just over cheap, if that makes sense. I think if you paid a pound for a knife, they'd be, these would be three quid if you're with me. I think they're about five or six quid, but that has scissors on it, a nail file, uh, a knife, a screwdriver, um, and that's about it, but it, it's really, really small. And I've just put a little uh, rubber o-ring around there just to stop your stuff popping out, because I haven't used this belt long time. You know, moving around and such, will a knife pop out? It could stick you in the side. It could rip the belt, even worse. Bugger the hole. <laughs> you know, I want to keep the belt. But yeah, other than my um, water purification tablets coming, I'm covering a hell of a lot there. Now, I did make a list of what it actually covers. To see if I can find that. Right, so I've covered uh, money. Uh, bandages, medication, a mini knife, a wire, not a wire saw, I went with just a, a metal saw, you saw that with the fishing hooks, I've got a, a multi-tool, I've got some zip ties, got some tape which is wrapped around my fishing wire, which I need to think of another way of wrapping tape, I maybe put some duct tape around the torch, or maybe, oh, I can't do it around the open L, it's probably going to be the torch, or maybe even the bandage wrapper, but I have got tape, but not much of it. So what else have we got? Uh, we said tape. Got a needle and thread. We've got our different cordages. You could use your your fishing line for snares and such like that. I've got that um, Kevlar line. You could make a ridge line. You could tie things together. You can do repairs. You could do whatever with it, really. Um, I didn't opt for safety pins. Now... For me, safety pins replace a button. They can do a bandage, but I could, in a pinch, I could do that with a needle and thread and other little bits and bobs, toggles and such. I've got my fire steel and striker. I've got tinder. I've got fishing tackle. Very basic, but we've got some. Um, we can make snares from what we've got there. I do want to add. And if anybody's got any recommendations, please do comment below because it's not a thing to get comments i actually i'm thinking of like a small beef jerky bar now if you get the right one it could be an easy 100 150 calories if you're with me you'll get it if you're watching this you'll see you'll know what i mean um we've got a flashlight i've not gone with a whistle or a signal mirror yet i explained the signal mirror um a whistle hopefully i'd have my fall raven bag with me that's got a built-in whistle but Again, if there's a, such a small whistle what I can fit in this kit, I'd be happy to uh, add it like. I've got a water container. Uh, purification tablets are on the way. I do have purification stuff, which I don't use, but you add it, 
you add one tablet to a bottle, then the bottle you add to mucky water, but it was just too big. Other than that, I use my uh, soya mini, sorry, soya squeeze. Um, I did think about aluminium foil, you know, to make a bowl or boil water, but I've got s stuff to treat water. Yeah, and that's about it. I mean, there's something there out of your 10 C's of, you know, survival, as uh, Dave Canterbury would say. But yeah, it's just a little everyday kit. Yeah, hopefully it uh, inspires you a little bit to, you know, EDC sort of thing, and carry your own little bits and bobs. You know, even if you've got children, just first it, the plasters, always using them. Um, what else are we always using? Toothpicks. You know, things like that, what you might not have in your pocket. Yeah, well, thank you for watching. Uh, if you've got any suggestions, um, I'd be happy to know. Do you know, um, small whistle, I'd like to know. Um, what else was it? We've got flashlight, the little beef jerky stick. That's what I'd like to know without making my own and sealing it and stuff. I mean, maybe even a pepperami, but yeah, I don't know. I prefer a bit of jerky, I think. Yeah, as always, guys, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. If you'd like to see more like this, please do subscribe. And uh, I'll chat to you in the comments. Catch you in a bit.